Okay guys, on today's video, we're gonna remove this scuff on this wing mirror case. Um, I think it's quite deep in a few areas, so we're gonna use a couple of techniques to get rid of it. Bit of wet sanding, bit of polishing, bit of filling with some solvent paint, anything that's too deep to sand and polish. So let's get on with it. Okay, we'll first uh, get some 1500 paper and we're gonna give it a, a quick sand to see what we can remove. I think most of it will be removed, but I think there's still a, a couple of little bits what uh, are gonna need a little bit more work. Bit of water. So that was a quick sand with 1500 and as I thought it has left some deeper marks what didn't sand away. So I'll show you a little trick now of how to sort these deeper marks out without spraying. So we're going to get some solvent paint and a filler spreader or some kind of plastic spreader. In this case just black. I'm just going to put that on there, just scrape it in. You have to be quite quick, um, you can't play around with it too much, else um, it just dries and it, it, it just gets sticky. Um, and it won't work. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to let that dry. Um, you can force dry it with heat lamps or a hot air gun, but I, I just like to let it dry sometimes, especially when the temperature is quite warm outside and we'll go and do something else. So uh, I'm probably going to leave it about 20 minutes. I'll come back to it with the next stage. So we've let that dry, um, and now it's time for a bit more sanding. 1500 grit Checking your progress as you go along After we've done it with a 1500, we're just going to go over it with some 2000 wet and dry. Three thousand. Okay, that's looking pretty good so now it's time for some polish some compound on this one I'm using Freckler G360 
and there we go it's made a huge improvement it's not perfect but 90 percent and it saved the wing mirror from being painted and uh, yeah pretty happy with that probably just needs a finishing polish on it just to get rid of a few of the swirl marks but it's just a quick tutorial to show you how you can uh, remove some fairly substantial damage without having to respray